recording. I hope it records. I do too. I do too. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. <laughs> that would be very bad. We are here at the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles with the incomparable, the uh, wonderful, our dost. Yes. <laughs> Vishal Bardwaj, thank you so much for joining yes, thank us. Thank you so He's, much. Yeah. So, so nice to see you. It was a, it's such a big surprise for me. I was not expecting <laughs> yes, you. Yes, so I know. I saw you through the door. I didn't tell you before <laughs> that we were going to be here. Yeah. Uh, but he's premier here uh, premiering theatrically premiering uh, Kofia uh, with uh, Taboo. Uh, but the first question uh, I wanted to ask was actually from your first film, which was M Muk Mukti, right? Mukti. Mukti, yeah. which is a kind of scary horror-ish style, to now, how do you think you have evolved as a filmmaker? Uh, if you have. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, definitely I have. <laughs> but it, it's very bad to, you know, to blow your own trumpet. So it, it's a difficult question. Mm -hmm. But definitely, you know, I have, I think I couldn't have or wouldn't have dealt a subject like uh, espionage mm -hmm. and... Uh, the queer, uh, uh, you know, part of it, mm -hmm. and um, so I needed uh, a kind of maturity mm -hmm. uh, with, and not I'm saying of the age, but the maturity of making so many films, so I could deal uh, with this kind of subject with with dignity mm -hmm. and um, with the pace which I wanted to have. Otherwise, you know, when you make uh, when you are. In, uh, new filmmaker, you are rushing through things. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but here, I wanted to hold. You know, in even in terms of camera movement, uh, if you see it closely, you know, uh, there's a there's a language, you know, which I have, you know, I wanted to achieve, where I didn't want to move the camera. There are no very few movement uh, trolley shots or or the crane shot. I wanted to hold the camera and let the drama play. Uh, you know. Uh, in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. And when you're writing the script, are you thinking about those things in the process of the writing or does that come more after the script is complete and now you're visualizing what's taking place with after you've done scouting of locations and things of that nature? Uh, not even locations. You know, once uh, when you are writing the film, you're seeing it as writer, mm -hmm. that whether the drama uh, is working or not. Uh, you know, it's like Backwards and Forwards. There's a lovely book called Backwards and Forwards. Uh, by David Ball, uh, and um, it it he has taken Hamlet as as the case study mm. and written. It's a very thin book, but it's my favorite book called Backwards and Forwards, okay. where you know I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm writing this yeah, down. Yes, yes, <laughs> I please, really am. Please, uh, but everyone has to uh, whosoever is connected with cinema has to read mm -hmm. that book, where the, he says you know that once you have written the script, you have to read it backwards. Mm. and mm. it's like a cause and effect so if you know it tells you that this scene is not required or this part is not required so when you're writing a script you are seeing it as writer and I I, I mean uh, and if, of course you visualize as a writer but when you see it as director then the language and you know all those other things come and on that because you are a superlative and legendary composer what hat comes on first, or is it different? Like, do you think about the music uh, for a film? Like, you start with that first. Do you think about the, your writing first? Do you visualize it first, or is it all? Is there any actual answer to that? Uh, the music actually comes uh, while I am writing the okay. script, so not before, never before. But if the first the idea comes, then idea should excite you, and then uh, you know that idea should translate into three act structure and it should hold and sometimes what happens you know uh, when you have completed the script and you started with the idea that idea is ne is not there in the script mm -hmm. so then you bring that idea back mm -hmm. so <laughs> you, you tend to lose that you know you tend mm -hmm. to lose focus yeah so yeah so but the music happens while i'm writing and uh, but mostly it happens you know uh, while i have completed the film okay but like the whistle theme in this happened while uh, while I was writing the film. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have a theme of uh, in whistle. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a very, you know, messed up 
uh, process for me. Sure. So it's when I try to you know look back at it and dissect it, it I am never never able to do it. And do you not trust anybody else to compose your your no your, no your, no, your no, your no. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll kill the producer yeah. and ask me to. <laughs> That's what I thought. Good. Fantastic. <laughs> and do you, the process of writing Shakespeare versus Dressing a spy thriller? Second, but, oh, but you can take three minutes. Uh, okay. Yeah. I just, yeah, is, yeah, was yeah, it more uh, challenging? Yeah, so this, is a, this is a quick yeah, yeah. quick question. Is it is it more challenging to, to adapt Shakespeare or was it more challenging to adapt a spy thriller like Kufia as uh, a writer? Uh, more challenging to write a, uh, adapt a spy thriller mm. because mm. in Shakespeare there's a you know whole dramatic structure you have, but this was uh, based on a book which had a real account of a, of, of an operation, intelligence right. operation. Right. So there was no uh, three act structure. There was no drama. Right. It was a cold, clean, uh, very uh, you know detailed account of of an intelligence operation. Mm. Which was fascinating, but it lacked uh, cinematic drama. Which, sure. Which you know we, we brought in. Makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. And you are are we going to get another Shakespeare adaption from Vishal Bardwash, or uh, is it going to be yeah, she, in the comedy ish <laughs> style? Is it going to be another serious one? Can so, you say? So yeah, yeah, I can definitely okay. say. But Shakespeare is like my you know fixed deposit in a bank. <laughs> so whenever, There's you know, a lot of material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So whenever I'll be uh, you know out of my pocket, you know, you know, short of money, I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Great right, answer. Right now, right now, I'm. <laughs> but uh, you know, you can make film on any of his play. It's it depends, you know, the kind of mental state you are in at mm-hmm. that point. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you can make uh, films on his comedies, you on uh, his tragedies, on anything because every play is is a is a very big idea. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it contains. Absolutely. Sure. And I'm oh, sorry. Last question because I really wanted you to can, ask you it. Can, you can ask too. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Please. Why? Do, why do you even know why do you get such great performances out of your actors from Shahid Kapoor to Priyanka to uh, John Abraham to uh, all these actors yeah. who a lot of people consider their best performances part of your films uh, what, what why do you think that is are you just that great <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> no, no no I'm not that great yes, you, you know are. I'm I'm uh, uh, you know how do I put it I'm not great but you know I'm very aware of my foolishness mm-hmm. so I know my shortcomings mm-hmm. and I know my strengths so and one who knows that he's a fool is no more a fool you know so th- I know that and I think uh, you know when the direction is about you know not directing Mm-hmm. Act, like <laughs> acting is not about acting. Yeah. So, Correct. Yeah. So directing is also not about uh, uh, directing. So you know, when I stage a scene, I never tell actors that you know you come from here and you sit over there or you know I just place them in. A, I give them a space, mm. and I ask them to own that space mm. and show it to me how their character will do this. So you know now the people who have been working with with me for long like Tabu and mm-hmm. of, of course you know yes, Yasir Saab and Irfan yeah. Yeah. both my favorite. So they they knew this that you know I'm not going to direct. Yeah. So when you know the, the advantage of that you know sometimes they do uh, things which I was not expecting. So I don't open my cards. I ask them to open their cards mm-hmm. and, and sometimes you know I get. Very, very new things, very surprising things, which I adapt in my own way and then guide them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, uh, yeah, you know, that uh, gives them their space. And when they they get a wrong note, then you bring them back. That no, this is very bad. You know, it's not supposed <laughs> to be like. That's this. wonderful. That's, yeah, that's wonderful that's because that's the, the level of trust you have in them and they have in you is beautiful. And you it's have to beautiful. you have to throw them off also you know, to to take responsibility of their character. Yeah. An actor has to take responsibility of their character. They have to think more than I do. Sure. Mm-hmm. This is what uh, is expected out of actors. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that was exactly what I expected. So, yeah, yeah. I think your questions are finished. Yes, yes. yes. Well, well, no, yeah. we actually yeah. have yeah. No. a lot more. Oh, we could talk to you for five hours. <laughs> Our normal so, interview is about no, an hour, we're, but we're not going to do that to you. you can ask one more. No, no. no, no, no. We're, we're, we're thank you thank so you much so for much. your time. Thank you. Uh, it, it, was, it was a pleasure. Go watch Kulfia on Netflix and come to the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. Thank you so much. For thank you. Thank you so much.